What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jess, and we finally got the last piece to the puzzle that we wanted to go on ahead and uh, and get. So now we can go on ahead and get you guys some new gameplay with 95 Bell and also this 94 over well 93, excuse me, overall Xavier Rhodes man. And the card looks really, really, really glitchy. So 92 speed, 93 acceleration. He should be able to keep up with any card in the game. As long as it's not a motion turbo. Where they motion them out. And they snap just before they get set. And they kind of get like a speed burst. On uh, whatever route they're going. As long as it's not that. He's going to be able to keep up with any. And every single card in the game. 6 foot 1. So he has good height. Uh, 94 press. So he definitely can get to the line and jam. I'm wondering what's his jumping ability. 95 jumping so I should have no problem with him going up and just swatting passes down so um, if you're curious as to the receiver I got rid of it was 92 overall BCA Sherman and it was just due to his speed his lack of speed 87 speed this time it's just not going to be able to cut it especially when more and more and more uh, receivers that are coming out are fast and really 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 fast so um, you know, hoping that this Xavier Rhodes is going to be glitchy. Very, very glitchy. So, uh, he has pick specialist times two. So, he automatically, by himself, equips one acceleration, one catching, and one play wreck. And then pick specialist tier two is going to equal one speed, I think another play wreck, and uh, I even think a jump, if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and throw him in the lineup. I will be having him in the lineup. So I can go on ahead and, uh, well, I will have him as my uh, number two corner. So I can take advantage of that pick specialist. So um, I got him for 520, which was, you know, right around the average of what he's going for at the time I bought him. So let's go ahead and put him in. And he should also give tier two for... Um, For especially now I'm going to lose tier one of let me see do we keep Willie Brown yeah Mel Blunt is good but we'll put Mel Blunt here I'm gonna lose lockdown tier one but uh, Mel Blunt goes here and we will go with. Right here, so Pat P would be cornerback number five. So Pat P will be corner number five. Xavier Rose will be corner number two. And you can see pick specialist brings Norman up to a 97. And uh, both of these guys, both Willie Brown, Josh Norman, Xavier Rhodes, and Kraus will all receive plus one speed. So definitely do not mind getting more speed for any of my players. So uh, pick specialist tier two is plus one speed, catching, jumping, and another play wreck. So that's just going to make Kraus an even better player since he is going to go on ahead and tack on another play wreck on top of another catching. His catching is already through the roof. And, uh, you know, one speed, man. So uh, this... Xavier Rhodes is actually going to be a 93 speed with 94 acceleration, 94 press, 88 play rec with 77 catching. Now we take a look at Josh Norman. Uh, one more for lockdown. We'll give him plus one man zone and press, which I would love to do, but unfortunately, I'm just unable to do that. The only way I can do that is by um, doing my uh, uniform and the only way I can do that is if I go on ahead and get another field general and getting another field general would mean me getting rid of Vince Wilfork and getting Indomitian Sue and I can get here and I can still keep my tier 2 for field general because that's plus 1 speed as well and then I can get a, uh, a a uniform for a pick specialist. I mean, for a lockdown, excuse me. So I can get tier one um, enabled. But Vince Wilfork is very, very, very good. Like, he blocks just like a madman. So I definitely do not want to get rid of this card 
uh, because he's just been really, really, really dominant for me. So, so far, this is what the defense is looking like. And again, plus one speed for Kraus, Rhodes, Willie Brown, and Josh Norman. And again, plus one speed is not going to hurt, you know, adding on to absolutely anybody, man. So, uh, hopefully I can go on ahead and continue to, uh, you know, take advantage of these chemistries. You know, uh, got to try to do what I can. Again, I won't not get a player just because of his chemistry. You know, I had 97 overall Jadavion Clowney, but I brought him down to 95 by getting rid of uh, Youngblood. And, you know, doing that was just, you know, uh, too tall Jones just looked like a better player than Youngblood. And, uh, and, act, and I really definitely think he is so far in the time I've been able to use him. Youngblood has been a very good guy, which I definitely recommend. But this, um, this Ed Jones has been absolutely phenomenal, man. So this Xavier Rhodes, again, when you max out with uh, the pick specialist tier 2, is going to go on ahead and add plus 1 speed, catching, jumping, and play rec. So now... His jumping is at a through the roof 96, which is crazy, man. And he has 94 Excel, so he should be able to just cover a lot of ground. And actually, his block shed was was pretty decent, too. His block shed is 65. Like, that's pretty good. I mean, it's nowhere, it's not Mel Blunt. But, I mean, 65 is definitely good. So, he should be able to play the run somewhat. So, if he's having trouble, then I'll go on ahead and uh, substitute uh, Mel Blunt, who is definitely a much better uh, block-shedding corner. But, still, this Xavier Rose looked like he should be able to do extremely well uh, in coverage, cover a lot of ground, and uh, I should definitely... Uh, try to take advantage of that impress more often like uh, sometimes you know with certain matchups I get worried about pressing if they have a, a Randy Moss or Cooks or somebody really really fast and say like, okay I just don't want to get beat over the top I don't want to take a chance pressing but now with Rhodes over there being you know the fastest guard in the game you know there's nobody with 93 uh, nobody with 94 speed yet excuse me um, you know, hopefully I can go on ahead and take advantage of that and, and be a little bit more riskier on defense, bringing my guys closer to the line and not have to worry about getting beat over the top since he does have that big, uh, that amazing speed. And once again, it definitely helps out to get tier two when you're adding plus one speed to four different guys. So offense remains the same. Only difference is that we have 95 Le'Veon Bell. And Adrian Peterson now goes as the backup. Uh, but other than that, everything else is the same here. No, everything else is the same there. No differences. And then on the defense side of things, you know, just really, 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 really liking what we have to offer on defense. So I definitely enjoy anybody who's going to make my job easier as a uh, on the defense side of things. And... His uh, hero version looked good. So uh, this is just a, a complete upgrade from there. We got 97 Josh Norman on the left, 94 Rhodes on the right. We have Willie Brown in our nickel, Blunt in our dime. And then when we come on quarter package, we have Pat Pete guarding their number five guy. So I really, really, really think our coverage is extremely, extremely, extremely well. Uh, matter of fact, when it comes to just actual coverage, Xavier Rhodes does really good with 91 zone and an 89 man. So he's no slouch. You know, he's able to cover a lot of ground, block shed extremely well, uh, has really good play rec, has good agility, and has amazing jumping and speed. So, again, him with the combination of Josh Norman. And I haven't really noticed too much out of Josh Norman. Uh, hopefully that changes. <laughs> hopefully we can go on ahead and uh, be able to be more... Uh, consistent with being able to defend the pass because I struggle stopping people's offenses and I struggle a lot and you know this is why you go on ahead and spend a lot of coins on Josh Norman you spend a lot of coins on uh, Xavier Rhodes so you can go on ahead and hopefully match up better against whoever they have out there on offense you know you have a, a more of a chance to being able to stop their threats and that's all what we're looking for, man. We're just looking for an opportunity to stop their offensive weapons. Hopefully they can make some plays for us. 
give us the ball on offense, and we'll be able to, you know, hopefully tack on some more points and come away with some victories. So that's what I'm hoping, and, and hoping Xavier Rhodes can do that for me. That's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You guys should be seeing some gameplay with Xavier Rhodes and uh, 95 Bell coming soon, later today. Appreciate the support. As always, man, feel free to hit that like button if you guys are not already. Follow me on Twitter if you guys are not already. It's your boy GS, man. We'll see you guys next time. Peace!